Hey everybody, it is Larry from ArcSight and I'm really excited to be making this video today. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use uh, the Mosier device and ArcSight to complete an entire turf quote. Uh, and that's everything from like quoting in your perimeter board, your seam tape, your actual turf, and all the line items included, everything. We're gonna make a drawing and an estimate all in about under five minutes. And you guys know I mean business because I'm wearing my turf shirt. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into that and we're gonna be using, like I said, the Mosier one to measure. Uh, but if you don't have a Mosier device, all of this stuff is still relative. It's just a little faster if you do use the Mosier. So we're gonna get right into it and start quoting with ArcSight. Okay, so before we go out there and measure, we are going to hop into ArcSight first, and that's what we're looking at now. Um, and what we're gonna do is select the product that we wanna do the outline with. So you might've guessed it, we wanna start with our perimeter board. And now we have a bundled product here, and a product basically is a pricing as well as data attributes, maybe it's quantity needed. Um, so it'll give you line item takeoff as you draw. So once we draw in the perimeter board, we can do a takeoff and it'll tell us exactly how many feet of perimeter board we need uh, and how many anchors we need. Everything will be accounted for just from drawing a picture. So what we wanna do is select perimeter board and what we're gonna do is do measure with Mosier app. We're just gonna tap that. It opens right up into Mosier. And then what we're gonna do is step outside and measure our perimeter of the turf that we want to install. So let's go outside and get the measuring done. Okay, we made it outside, the Mosier's on and ready to go. And what we're doing is we're just going to be going around my entire side yard here as if we are going to install turf. Basically, all we'll have to do is drop it on each corner as well as go around the curves, and that'll give us a perfect perimeter in arc site. So let's start measuring here. Now, the more often we start when start and stop, the more accurate it's gonna be. So I'm purposely getting as many measurements when I go around this shape as possible. All right, and we're back to the start. Finish measurement, and what I'm gonna do is join start and finish points, and then boom. And I think we now have a great drawing of this side yard. And now the final thing we wanna do is take our drawing here and just simply hit return. All right, we just got back inside, and as you can see, this is the exact shape we just got done tracing in Mosier, and it instantly imported. And not only did it do that, but because we did it with a product, we already have accounted for not only how much perimeter board we need, but anchors as well. So let's go ahead and get back to the drawing and fill in the rest of what we need. So now there's gonna be a couple of things we add that you're probably used to doing, but of course, just think of your own workflow as I'm going. So, so to keep this nice and clean, uh, we're gonna do the, a new object or a new product on every layer. And we're just gonna, this is as easy as it gets. So let's choose, uh, maybe we're doing this no weed undercover. That seems great, <laughs> perfect. So not only did we just have to tap it and it fills it in, but we have an accurate reading of how much square footage that is. That's great. Let's move on to our next layer. This one, let's do our turf. So we again go into our products. Uh, let's just choose our fresh rolls here. And now what I like to do is just create a square in 15 feet. Okay, so we'll start at the top here and let's draw in our rolls. So this button right here helps us duplicate it right across. So let's go ahead and add in another roll. Should snap right in place. There we go. Turf layer is done. Everything's covered. Now next is seam tape, which is very easy. So we're just gonna go into layer four. Tape products, let's find seam tape. So all we're gonna do 
for this is draw in our seam tape. All right, we have our tape in there. And now there's just one last thing we wanna do. Let's add one more layer here and let's do our scrap. To do this, we're gonna go to select internal point and then that lets us literally just tap all the areas that are going to be scrapped. So up here and up here. There we go. So now we have all of our, oh, it looks like this corner too. Done. All right, so that's our entire drawing. Now let's say you just wanna quickly dress it up. Um, I recommend grabbing some shapes here, like we can add in the Northern Compass to help orientate where this is. Maybe you just wanna quickly draw where the house is and we can even mark that up as such. Or like I said, there's tons of free shapes. This part that we drew around here, there was some shrubs in there. So let's draw those in. And then maybe there was a big tree in the backyard too. We can note that. Just some tiny things to clean it up. Especially if you're presenting this to a client, you might want to dress it up, add a title block, all that stuff is possible too. We have everything accounted for and normally you'd have to hand draw all of this and do the math, but what we're gonna do is just simply to take off an estimate. And now what you see here is absolutely everything that we need accounted for, down to three tubes of glue, 120 anchors, 31 boards. And if we tap into these, it has the length of each board that we're gonna need too. All of this again can be 100% customized to your pricing, to any kind of attributes that you wanna attach to a product. Really the sky is the limit here. Let's say you're doing this quote in, in someone's home and it's time to get them to sign. You wanna fish, you wanna close that deal. You don't wanna go home. You don't wanna be spending a whole day every week writing quotes. You wanna go in, do the quote, get the customer to sign and get on to the next bit. Well, that's exactly what we can do here. So right here, we just tapped one button and we have a signable quote that includes not only a pricing breakdown, but also the drawing that we made. And finally, an easy place for your customer to sign, just like that. Now there's all these different ways to export it as well. You can email it, you can just text it to them if you wanted to. You can print this if you have a mobile printer whatever you want to do to help make your workflow easier. So once again, this all started with just a very simple drawing in Mosher, working with ArcSight, adding in our products. And like I said, it only takes about five to 10 minutes to get this entire thing done. Think of how fast you can get your quotes done. That is what it's all about. It's about getting as many quotes out there and winning more bids and then looking professional too. And again, there's so, so, so much more you can do. This is just the very tip, tip, tip of the iceberg. So please reach out to us. Go to arcsightapp.com. Reach out to someone on our team, and we'd be so happy to show you around. We can even show you what your product would look like in ArcSight. So that's arcsightapp.com. Thank you guys for watching, and get out there and start drawing.